All right, and welcome back to Leather Soup Gaming. My name is Max. And I am Ricky. Max, what are we doing? Well, right now we are going to go further down into this 70s woman's mind. And, uh... Wait, 70 woman? Like, 70s woman? Like, she's 70 or 70s minded? She's from the 70s. Gotcha. And apparently it's a race. Here we go. Oh, here, here we go. And, and they're off. And they're off. And here's the little boy in the front. Oh, he's going to take the mouse trap. The mouse trap tube is a really good idea. I think we're going to have a wonderful time. I thought the girl down there to the bottom right on the uh, little map there was Donkey Kong for a second there. It does kind of look like Donkey Kong. From the side glance, I'm like, whoa, what? And then there's the fro kid. The fro kid is going to... Oh, be, him. Uh, he's actually the boss to beat on this level. R this level, really? Yeah, he's the fastest. He'll did you just go under a stiletto? Yes, I did. Excellent. Okay, what's the difference between a stiletto and a platform shoe? Uh, no, it is a platform shoe. Stilettos are like... They, like the tiny pointed heels? Yeah. And platforms are just everything up? Yeah, they're like, okay. when you think of, like, the, the okay. shoes that Kiss wear. Oh, yes, those are platforms. Yeah. Gotcha. Just black leather, studded So does that shoes. ball stay, uh, bald forever? That ball stay bald forever? Your ball. Yeah, it stays there. It stays there until I tell it to go. Okay. So, it, oh, it's just like a, it's just a faster way of running. Yep. Which is, okay. Which is why I was super glad that we got, that I got to this part super early. Gotcha. Oh. Out. Oh. Bam, dead. Oh, uh oh, uh oh. Fro boy is going to beat you. Yeah, you, 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 That's a sweet dance move we got there, though. Oh, oh, no. oh. Oh no, what the heck is this? Oh, what? Oh, what? Oh, well, oh, he beat you now. Oh, what? Wow, you want to just restart that? Yeah, let's just, wow. let's just, wow. let's just reset that race. You know what, between me dying and Batman, now you flopping up the race. Wow, I have, I have three quarters of a brain of health left. I have nothing. That's why the, that's why it keeps going. Ah. Uh, okay. I don't hear the heartbeat. I hear it. It's very low. Ah. Uh, does it like if you get to like half a heart or half a heart, half a brain? Does it? Uh, I assume it would get louder. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. If I only had a brain. Ooh. Have you ever cool. seen? Have you ever seen uh, the Wiz? Is that the play? Yeah, the the uh, the musical ver like the black musical version. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's real good. I've uh, I know, Wizard of Oz. The, everything after the original Wizard of Oz is really weird to me. Like, have you heard of um, uh, uh, Oz the Great and Powerful? Yes. Yeah, it's... I don't know, it's just weird. It was... It's similar to me... Uh, it, it's it's a similar problem I have with the new Han Solo movie of just why. I keep asking myself the question of why do we need it? Because take Han Solo for example, okay? Everything that we really cared about his character happened in episode four. Like everything that made him him was happened significantly in episode four. Where like he went from a smuggler to then by the end of it being awarded for taking down for helping take down the biggest threat in the entire galaxy in the rebellion. And then the next movie he became a captain in that rebellion. Like. It's that character progression that made him such a likable character of like, wow, that whole journey, the, the hero's journey. Before that, he was just a smuggler. He's like, he was part of an academy, did some did some uh, star fighting for a bit, and then just became a smuggler with Jabba the Hutt. I mean, that that's it. Like, everything that was really important happened later. Yep. So why do we need, why do we need this Han Solo movie? Your guess is as good as mine. Like, Rogue One, Rogue One at least had, like, a plot and actually made a reason for it where it described, like, how they got the Death Star plans. Yeah, that was briefly mentioned in A New Hope, but it wasn't, like, elaborated on. Uh, Rogue One was like, yeah, let's elaborate on that more because that, that was a huge undertaking of itself. So I'm like, yeah, that actually makes sense, and it was really, and it was a pretty good movie with the absolute best Darth Vader scene ever made. Um, hey. Amen. <laughs> so Rogue One gets a pass for me, but Han Solo, or the Solo, whatever they call it, is just like, I keep asking why. 
Now, what's even more confusing is, the, you know, the, the Venom movie? Yeah, I haven't, seen, like, I haven't seen that trailer because I wanted to hear your opinions on it first. I've seen it. I, it's so... Uh, so, it's a similar it's thing good, with... Huh? Well, the thing is that Venom himself actually looks pretty cool. Um, he's, he's a lot more comic orientated, like more gooey, not just like veiny like he was in uh, Spider-Man 3. I'm a fan of that. Yeah, he actually looks pretty cool. I don't... I'm still trying to figure out how... Eddie Brock, like what his exact role is in the film, and how he becomes so like an important character in it, and how the goo plays a role in it. Because in like the original originals, it was always an alien, and like it infected Peter first, which is how it got the spider powers and the look and all that. So it was kind of like a step by step process. Okay. But then, like in this one, supposedly Spider Man isn't in it at all, but it's like still in the universe, but it's not. But Sony's doing its thing, but it doesn't want to touch the Marvel stuff. It's like, it's like Sony's trying to be like, we can do the movies too, even though they did, even though they tried twice with the Garfield movies. Oh my and God, that was Sony. Sony that was Sony. Sony. That was Sony's full doing. Sony owns the rights yep. to Garfield. They own them to uh, that Garfield's Peter. And uh, it flopped both times. The second true. one was an absolute travesty. My God. The only thing good in that was the suit. In the first one, it was, it just wasn't good, but it wasn't like Spider-Man. It wasn't as bad as Spider-Man 3 for the most part. But then Amazing Spider-Man 2 was just garbage. So with Venom, I'm, that's why I'm kind of concerned about. It's like, is Marvel having any of this at all? Or is it just pure Sony doing, like, trying to pull up his big boy britches and be like, we can do the movies too, kind of thing. So I, I am cautiously the cautious about it. There's just no, there's just no other way to describe it. I'm cautious. They have no necks. Oh, I skipped the kiss. I'm sorry. I, I skipped the kiss. Uh, wait, what? She kisses the kid? She, she kisses the top of his head. Oh, okay. Fine. Thank God. Okay. Don't be a stranger, darling. Thank you, Abe. Now it's back to the lab. Dogen's not in the lab, sweetie. He's watching TV in the lodge with the other children. I meant the dream Dogen from my brain tumbler vision. If I can find out what's happening... Oh, I'm afraid he's just like that. I like that that since the first kid to get attacked uh -huh. is an idiot. They just don't care? Yeah, they're like, oh no, that's just <laughs> the way he is. God dang it. This game has a lot of like neat little mechanics in it that I'm so surprised uh, for a PS2 era. And now that I've gotten all the way through that, now I can... I really can... S speed on through. Yeah. Oh. Uh, oh, geez. Whoa! Carry on, sailor. Carry on, sailor. <laughs> okay. Wow, this game goes in all kinds of directions. Uh, the good news. Oh, I can I can actually just go straight to Sasha here. Oh, but uh -oh. I don't. But my thing with Sasha is that I don't want to go back into my brain for it. What I want to do is go back and. Oh no! Don't tip me to the kids' cabin oh, area. You hit the wrong thing. No. You did the wrong thing. No. Look at those 4K birds. All right. Are they really 4K? All right. All right. What would you like me to take? Uh, uh go. The, 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 the thing. Oh, uh, go. Uh, not, not bad. Agent Nine's not lab bad. place. Uh, yeah, that was a little weaker. That's the thing about Miller. Yours is more throaty. Miller beer. Miller is the Miller of beer. Uh, yeah, I don't think a more true statement could be said. <laughs> All right, so I'm going. I've been running some tests. Mm. It seems that the sensitive the thoughts of some other entity are interlacing with my hair almost looks like his level, which explains many of the strange things you've seen. I'm glad your I receding hairline doesn't come to a flat point. <laughs> I need to get a haircut time. badly. I think my vision about Dogen came true. I'm worried it's gonna happen to the others if we don't get to the bottom of this quick. But we don't know where the foreign projections are coming from yet. <laughs> Is there a faster way to find out than sending me in there to investigate? You're expendable, child. We'll send you in. Oh, whatever. Good one. Thank you. 
There's a problem of like once I start, I can't stop. Uh, I like that. Okay, so we can actually do whatever we want now. So no like, way. They sent us in here. So the goal, uh, whose world is this? I need Sa to drink some water so I can stop burping. Sasha's suit, shoot, Sasha shoot you, All right, so I'm going back into Sasha's so world. Sasha, 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 All right, so it's just Smelling like. Smelling salts. Yeah, so it's just like, hey. Bad. That that freaks me out. Welcome to welcome to backtracking. I uh, use the smelling salts to get out. Gotcha. That you were given Whoa, at the beginning like, of the game. Looks like that one uh, sun fusion thing from Spider-Man 2. That'd be an awesome game to play sometime. Like, not the PC. Have you seen the PC version of Spider-Man 2? There's a PC version of Spider-Man 2? And it's not like the console version. It's it's arguably one of the worst Spider-Man games ever made, if not the worst. Of arguably the best Spider-Man game ever being on the consoles, the PC has the absolute worst, and it's the same title. Ain't that some stuff? That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, yeah, let that bend your mind for a bit. It's just, it's garbage. It's the garbage of garbage. Ooh, shiny. Maximum health, maximum lives increased. Ooh, very nice. Good job, me. Wow. <laughs> do, do you want longer arms there to slap yourself in the back? Good job, me. I did a good job. Pew, pew, motherfucker. <laughs> wow. Oh, ooh. I didn't know that I could do this. <laughs> oh, that's oh, sad. Oh, aw. Did you see what that figment was? That figment was like his mom, uh, Sasha's mom. Aw, man, this game really pulls at you. Oop. Yeah. Pew, pew, Didn't pew. Didn't like there. Oh, and he's dead. I win. My win. Do you? It's a very satisfying sound. It, fe oh. Oh, oh. it feels really good when you like you when you actually like land it. Yeah, when you do it right. <laughs> so like, don't don't look at me for an example. Mm. Pew. That's okay. We're not here. We're in, we're not walk through. Yo. Okay. Good. Ah, pay so. Those those drums sound really good. I don't know what kind of drums they are. It's oh. a it's a drum set. Um. Is it like regular? Look, it sounds like they're pretty compressed. Um, I like the way that snare drum sounds. So what exactly are you supposed to do here? Here, uh, you could do whatever. I'm running around. Up, oh, I already did that one. Um, I'm running around getting all of the, uh, all the stuff Spot. I left behind. Oh, the uh, after images or whatever. Yeah. Gotcha. So those. Fragment. Uh, fig. Fragments. Fig figments. Figments. Of your imagination. Your imagination. <laughs> Nine. <laughs> Doop. I like the sensors. Ah! Oh. Ah. Ooh, nicely done. Ooh. Oh yeah, I want to ask you a question. I thought about last night. That yeah. I completely nearly forgot about until just now. So, you and I are. Uh, both have like different universes, different medias, and different like lores that we both really enjoy that we really like. Yeah. Which one is your favorite? I don't not know. not the uh or actually which one do you know the most? Not which one's your favorite, but which one do you, can you say that you know the most about? Probably Star Wars. That's what I thought. What would what's your favorite one? Um Star Wars is it the is same, or is it like, Star Wars or can it be really different? Really up there. Why can't I grab this? Oh, I, oh, it's just like, uh, it's a, it's it's not like an added. It's just like it brings you up to max. Oh, to max it brings life. you up there. Okay. Yeah, to maximum lives. Gotcha. Oh, oh you were grabbing onto nothing there. Next time on I shouldn't be alive. Yeah, hi. Next time on I shouldn't be alive. <laughs> 
And dead. and next time on, I'm dead. All right. So you say so you would say Star Wars. I know for uh, both the the one you know the most and your favorite. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, and I and I don't think that those two and I don't think it's the same because it's the same. Yeah. I I genuinely think that. Uh. Oh the baby! Oh the baby's crib. This oh, is so boy. weird. I honestly think. Yay! All right. So when you get all of the baggage and the same brain, yes, you get, uh, you get primal memories. Oh, like and really important big memories. Primal memories. Are behind the scenes. Stuff. Whoa! I love some of the behind the scenes stuff. So like, oh, that's cool. This is how they planned out his stuff. I love the sketches. That's super freaking cool. I love concept art because it kind of it, it's a great way to see the vision of what the developers had in mind, and then to see the final product is a huge thing. So what? Uh, I think for me. What about I you? I don't know what my favorite is. You know a lot about the Marvel Cinematic Universe, as well as, like, Marvel in general. You'd be surprised uh, how much I don't know about the Marvel. In the same way that about you... About Marvel. You know a lot about... Well, you know a lot about a lot of things. <laughs> and I, <laughs> I, d I don't know why you did a villain laugh for that, but I, I don't I, know. You know what? I'm not going to look a gift horse in the mouth. <laughs> um, The one I think I can say I know the most... I look at it as like percentage of like how much of the thing out there do I know percentage wise. And I'd say it's probably the Fallout universe. Ah, uh, yes. Yes, I was going to say that next. Because it's it's not as expansive. There's no comic book. There's no, or like lore comic book. There's no lore movie. There's no lore like extra little behind the scenes bonus clip of whatever. It's just all there in the game. No DVD extras. Um, yeah, or like you know, hours upon hours upon hours upon like oh, hundreds of thousands of hours of shit. of books. It's more just kind of like everything in the game is what you get. So the amount of lore there isn't as much. So to me, it appeals to me and, and how I can learn it so easily, or how I enjoy learning it and reading about it, is that it's it, because it's more self-contained. It's not as, like, humongous. It's not as intimidating. It's like, yeah, it's not so hard to, to pick up on because there's only so many things that are, like, lore. Uh, or so many games yes. in the series. There's only five in the series. Oh, that's so, true. Yeah. So even there, it's, it's, not, it's not as intimidating to, to learn about. And because it's not... It's not a completely alternate universe. It's just a like a timeline difference thing. So it's like everything you learn from, I think it's like. Nothing contradicts itself. Yeah, and it's also like everything pre. What was it, like pre Circuit Breaker or something um, is still in line with our real world. It's just like everything after this point goes off the rails into Fallout territory kind of thing. So it's like you already have a basic, a good understanding of like world history and everything. So it's not as like I'd start from the very beginning of how the Earth was formed. It's more like nah, you, you whatever you think. That's kind of it. But at this point, that's when we divert from what we know of as history. So it's a little bit more contained. That's why like I love the 40k lore and stuff. As I start to learn a bit more and more about it, I start to love it more and more. But it's just. So stinking huge. It's massive. Of just like one faction. And you can spend like years just reading everything about it. And it's interesting and great, but it's just, it's intimidating. Yeah. It's like, how do you begin? Yeah, and it's, it's like, it's how I feel about, uh, the way you feel about Fallout is the way I feel about the Witcher series. Because it's all done by mostly the same people. Um, you mean CD Projekt Red? Uh, yeah, CD Projekt Red did, is the only people that did that have done the Witcher games. Yes, and although it's originally a book series. So, yeah, they're the only people that have ever 
done an interpretation of the books, which is awesome because so. they keep to their narrative. Yeah. Um, so they create their world and they stick to it because that's what they do. Yeah. And they also take 12 years to make a game. In the same way that Fallout was mostly done by the same people. And so... And, and with that... And I think also because the fact that you never play as, as the same protagonist twice makes a yeah. huge difference. Like, each game takes place in a different, basically in a different world. Yeah. So that creates huge uh, and it, differences. And it never contradicts itself. Yeah. It, it look at every time. Uh, for, the, for like, I would say 99% of the time. Yeah. And I mean, like, what lore doesn't contradict yes. itself? Yeah, I just mean, like, as bad as, like, having a new director. Like the, True. the the how the Harry Potter movie series like kept its shit together long enough to make the millions it did makes absolutely no sense to me. They switched hands like so many times. That's right. And the only way that they kept it, well, I mean, uh, Alfonso Cuarón was was awesome, but at this point, I'm just regurgitating what I've learned from movies with Mikey. Um, <laughs> Create your own thoughts, Max. You can do it. No, I can't. That's not. Uh, it's not intrinsic to my uh, to my happiness. Uh, I have to regurgitate. So uh, I'll, I'll create my own thoughts based on what what other inputs I've come in, and I can kind of create my own opinions from that kind of thing. All right. If it's the same, great. If not, whatever. All right, and we're gonna end with this little bit. No Pick it up here next time on Let's Keep Gaming. Whatever you say. So Max, Toy Story three, the incinerator scene. Remember how Mrs. Potato Head's eye was, like, in Andy's room? No, I did not remember that. Yeah, she kept it there, and she's like, oh, He's looking for us! And all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, during the incinerator scene, she didn't have her eye. If they died, would she have lived on in her eye? I think it would just become inert. So it would just be a dead eye, standing, watching, waiting. Pixar, explain!